Hello, it's Christina Hill, occupational therapist, and I'm actually in the hospital today um, with bilateral pneumonia, and um, I'm having to get IV antibiotics. So what happened to me was um, that the I had seven sticks. I don't know if you can see them all, but seven unsuccessful sticks so far, and um, I want to talk to you about how to advocate with your nurse um, while still building the relationship and getting what you need and um, how to work out of the pain that develops when um, that fluid gets um, leaked into your muscle and it's very uncomfortable and even painful. So the first thing I did was um, when she put it in, it was uncomfortable, it was stinging, burning, and um, I said, hey, that hurts, can we try to get out and try again? And so she did, and um, the second time if <clears throat> she put it in, it didn't sting and burn, but when she started to uh, put the fluid into this one, then um, I started having a lot of swelling in my muscle. I could visibly see it, and I could feel that it was a little um, tough underneath here because it was just that fluid was leaking out of my vein into my muscle. And so I said, hey, it's leaking. It hurts. Can we take it out? And I need a break. And those are some of the best things you can do. She responded really well to me, and um, she actually sent somebody back in to try the other times that I got stuck hasn't been successful yet, but um, it will be. I'm not worried about that. Um, <clears throat> so basically, my bicep was hurting. Like my arm was really uncomfortable. So three things we're gonna um, do today are: I want you to, whenever you experience that, or elevate your arm. Okay, so gravity can start to push that fluid um, down back towards the armpit because in your armpit you have lymph nodes that. Um, will pick it up. So their job is to reclaim leaked fluid in the body. Let's see if I can prop here. Oops. <laughs> okay. This is the raw version. No edits. Here we go. So uh, maybe right there. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is that's where my bicep is. I uh, just started to lightly massage. You don't want to do this fast. It's called light retrograde massage. You just want to lightly massage that fluid out of that area. It was very uncomfortable but it started to loosen up. It took me about 10 minutes to actually get over this and I'm fine now and I didn't have any um, long-term repercussions from it. Sometimes I get people in rehab after the hospital when they have like serious issues because they never dealt with it and it's hard to move it. So there's no tenderness and pain here. There was at that time. So you're gently massaging back to your arm and the next thing you're going to do, so you elevated, you did light retrograde massage, you're going to actively pump that fluid out of that extremity and like I said it's coming back to be reclaimed by the lymph the axillary lymph nodes or the lymph nodes in your armpit and by doing that I was able to work out of that pain within 10 minutes and had no further problems <clears throat> for my hospital stay so please like and subscribe share if you know anybody who's dealing with that you can also treat that in rehab later if there's no um, there's no muscle tear, no tendon tear, no ligament injury, and no bone fracture. There's no reason why we should have to live with myofascial pain. And so that's the purpose of the video today is to help uh, get our patients past that a little faster.